good morning on this Monday morning. I hope that everyone had a wonderful Easter and uh, gave thanks in their own ways. I'm going to read a little bit about the Living the Martial Way, which is a book that um, our secondary black belts must read as part of their requirements. Out of that, there is warrior fitness that we'll be talking about. And what we'll be talking about today is something called power. Everybody gets into the martial arts wanting to be super fast and have all kinds of power. But that doesn't happen at the very beginning. So bear with me. Power is an essential ingredient in any form of combat. This is most evident, of course, in hard styles that rely on forceful movements. But it is also important in soft styles as well, despite what some people claim. But notice I didn't say strength. I specifically chose the word power. And I'm using it the way a hard stylist would define it. That is in the terms of the ability to exert force, of which strength is only one component. You see, the ability to strike with force isn't determined by strength alone. It actually depends on how much mass you have and how quickly you can accelerate that mass into a target. A lot of that is in our backhand punch with the twist of the hips. The amount of mass you can employ in any movement is determined by your body weight and if you're planted, proper stance, how strongly you can lever between the ground or some other solid foundation and the target. How quickly you can move that mass against the target is a function of your strength and flexibility. If all this sounds confusing, which it may do, just remember, the amount of power you can generate is determined by your size, strength, and your speed. Of course, there isn't too much you can do about your size. So you'll want to follow a conditioning program that will develop your strength and speed. Students, it's, it's very important, especially in this method of us having to learn right now virtually, that you practice and practice and practice. Failure to do so will find you lagging behind when we're able to return to the dashing. Please don't put yourself in that position. In addition, I sent out an email. If you do not have a login to our website, you need to contact me immediately. There are techniques and forms posted on the website all the way through Greenbelt as I make this video. Hopefully, by the end of next week, they'll all be up through First Degree Black Belt. Students, bear with us. We appreciate your loyalty, which is another topic I will be talking about. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. We'll see you in class.